I don't know if this this is probably going to cause people to be like to kick off or something, but do oh, you think no. Jammy is from Workington or Whitehaven? Hello everyone. You might be wondering what what we're doing on your news feeds. Um, I'm Jacob Colley from Cumbria Crack, the content editor. I'm joined on the left hand side of the screen by Lucy, who's uh, who's at Holler. And um, you might have noticed in the last couple of months or so that we've had some content under the section Holler on our website. Basically, we're here today to to launch that and kind of shout about why we're doing it essentially what we're trying to do is we want to connect with a younger audience here at Cumbria Crack I think too often we, we focus too much on what politicians have to say or local businesses and we, we don't kind of ask young people what they think and Holler's got quite a good reach in terms of speaking to young people and, and representing young people so we wanted to join up with them give young people a platform by collaborating with them and, and sharing content and that kind of thing so you'll see more stuff kind of being fed through onto Cumbria Crack from, from Holler. Lucy, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about Holler and, and why why the partnership's important to, to you guys. For us, partnering with Cumbria Crack has been like a really huge deal because it means that we can support our young people that are working with us a lot more from like a professional viewpoint. And it's just going to give us the chance to reach out to a wider audience of young people. So like to really find young people who are all over Cumbria because as we all know, Cumbria is really rural and it's often, it can feel kind of difficult to connect, like especially in person, hence why we want to do it online and do it through our platform. So it is a really big thing for us and we're just really looking forward to connecting with more young people and helping people start out on their career journeys into journalism and film and all that kind of thing. And you've got some you've got some exciting news that's happened not too not too long ago. Do you want to kind of share with us what, what's been happening behind the scenes recently? Yeah, so our super exciting news is that we actually managed to build more of a team just last year. So they've just come on board, like they started at the end of September. So we have five new team members, all of which are like paid roles, which we're really proud of. We're proud that we can give young people a chance to start out and just shine with us really. Uh, so we have Chin Wenwei, um, who is our one of our content creators. We have Josh, who is another. Ellie, who's one of our younger ones. Um, we've also got Joseph, who helps with social media. So he's our social media assistant. And we've got Jack, who's our sports correspondent, our very first sports oriented role here at Holler. And they're all really, really brilliant. They're doing amazing things and we're so proud of them. But um, yeah, we are always looking to expand and build our team and like let people come pitch ideas to us and do a little bit of articles here and there. So we're always looking for new people, but that's our team at the moment. We decided to do like quick fire questions um, because a lot of the content we do on Holler is super like relaxed and like ent ent entertainment based. We do cover more serious stuff but we do like to sort of keep it lighthearted and just keep it fun. My first question is, where is your favourite place to spend time in Cumbria? Oh, good question. Um, I think I'll go with Buttermere, to be honest. It's my favourite lake in the Lake District. It's not as popular as the other places, so it doesn't feel like it's like kind of swarming with people and you're, you're climbing over each other and stuff. Just such a picturesque and relaxing place. What is your favourite restaurant in Cumbria? Oh my god, that is such a good question. Oh. Hmm. There's so many nice places to eat around here, but it's got to be. It's not really a restaurant. Can it be like a like a pub restaurant or like can it does yes. it have to be a restaurant? Yeah, as long as you can eat there, it's fine. So it would be the Fox and Hounds in Ennerdale. Um maybe like not as well known, but like I have really good memories there because you, you can go for a walk in Ennerdale and just come back and just go get some food. And it's like they do vegan options and vegetarian options as well. And it's just like a really nice experience. Yeah, it's a really nice place. Really underrated, I think. I don't see a lot of people talking about it. I don't know if this, this is probably going to cause people to be like, to kick off or something, but do oh, you think no. Jammy is from Workington or Whitehaven? Oh, I don't think I can really win with this question, can I? I actually asked my girlfriend this very question and she's from Whitehaven. Um, and she said she absolutely wasn't a jam eater. So I don't know if that... That answers the question. But I think if you said, if you asked that to somebody from Workington, they'd probably say the same thing. So I'm just going to go with what my girlfriend said and I'm going to stay out of 
giving my own opinion, I think it's probably <laughs> safer. If you could change one thing about Cumbria, what would it be? I think it would probably be to have like more spaces that have like that are built up. So like maybe more things to do or more shops or independent shops. So not even just like big chain ones or anything. Probably just to make it a little bit more, like just a bit more built up and like in the areas where it's supposed to build up with more independent shops, more chances for, you know, businesses to open and that kind of thing. Because I think sometimes people can get a little bit upset with things closing and like obviously with the pandemic, we've had a little bit more of that recently. So just to have that sort of back and like the high streets back because I think we've all been affected by it. But yeah, I think that's probably what I'd change. Fells or the sea and why? I think Fells just because I think there's something quite unique about being stood on a fell and seeing the, the views across the lake. So I think there's something very unique about um, climbing a fell and, and like the kind of sense of achievement when you get to the top and the views and that kind of thing. What is your favourite Cumbrian word? I feel like you probably can't go wrong with yam. <laughs> Like for going home, like going. Oh like, my, I actually wrote that down in case you were going <laughs> to ask me. Actually, <laughs> well, my my next question, I've got. Um, my next question was going to be, uh, what's your favourite Korean slang term? I feel like it's like a, a solid question they ask to any yeah. Korean person. Well, yeah, I was going to go with yam because I before I'd moved to Cumbria about four or five years ago, never heard that in my life. Um, and I always remember it just me. Um, somewhat, I heard someone say, I'm going yam, and I was like, what on earth does that mean? <laughs> that that's pretty much happened but to it's... me in like, school. I, I remember people would use stuff like that all the time, and I'd just be like confused. So thank you all for watching today. Um, you can So you can find us on Cumbria Crack's website on our holler page. And you can also find us in all our diff on all our different social medias on the links that we'll put up up here somewhere. Um, but it's been a really good like little chat today. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, cheers, guys. We'll see you soon.